My name is Cynthia Mason. I'm a Canadian lawyer and trademark agent with the law firm of Mason PC. We are a Canadian law firm that specializes in helping businesses protect their brands. Now, I fully believe that the only reason a business or business owner does not have a trademark registration, at least one trademark registration to protect their brand is because the owner doesn't understand the value of a trademark registration in owning and protecting a brand name in Canada. And so in this video, I just wanna go through a really high level overview of the process of protecting a brand in Canada and really to show you where a trademark registration plays into that process and why it is so important that your business have a trademark registration, at least for your brand name, if not for your brand name and your logo and any other visual elements of your brand. So a trademark registration is a federal government grant of the exclusive right to use a trademark in connection with the products and services that you've claimed in your trademark registration or in your trademark application. So the way you go about getting a trademark registration is you file an application with the Canadian Intellectual Property Office for a specific trademark covering specific goods and services. And so this is something that we help businesses do every day. We prepare and file trademark applications. We do that through our law firm of Mason PC. We also do that through our online trademarking platform, Markably. Um, through both of these processes, we will search the trademarks register for potential obstacles to the trademark registration. And assuming everything is all clear, we will prepare and file the trademark application and get the process started. So that application is going to sit with the trademarks office for 18 months and up, depending on how the application is filed and what's contained in it. The first step in the process is the trademarks office is going to examine the trademark application to ensure that it complies with Canadian trademark rules. If there are issues or there are objections, they'll issue an examiner's report and we often have, well, we always have the opportunity to respond um, either through amendments to the trademark application or by submitting arguments to try and show the examiner why their perspective on a particular trademark might not be accurate. So once we get an application through the examination process, it's approved and then it's advertised in the trademarks journal for public opposition. So this just gives anyone in Canada the opportunity to oppose a trademark if they think that the owner shouldn't have a trademark registration for it. Um, the vast majority of applications are not opposed, but the opposition process does happen in a lot of cases. And so we have to deal with that. Um, if there are no oppositions or if we are successfully defeated in opposition, the application goes through to registration and the registration gives you the exclusive right to that trademark for 10 years. Now, a lot of business owners think that that's where their brand protection efforts really need to stop and they can kick back and put their feet up, which is actually not entirely true. While that trademark registration being on the register does some passive enforcement for you, in particular, it serves as notice of your rights in a particular trademark. And so anyone coming along and filing an application for a confusing mark, the trademarks office is gonna hold up your registration as a block. Um, and of course, you know, they'll have the opportunity to try and uh, argue against it. But if the marks are truly confusing, the trademarks office will reject any later potentially confusing marks. And so you don't have to do anything. Your mark is working for you on the trademarks register. Now, I would not recommend that that's all of the enforcement work that a brand owner needs to do. Because you are the owner of that trademark, you are the one who is responsible for ensuring that your mark remains distinctive. The only way you can really do this is by setting up a monitoring service. So whether that's you're paying somebody to do it for you, and we monitor trademarks on behalf of some of our clients, or you're going to informally do it yourself. So the ways that you would want to do that is you would want to set up a watch of the trademarks register so that 
you get notified of any potentially confusing trademarks. So like I said, when you file a trademark application, it's examined and the trademarks office raises a mark as potentially confusing. You have the opportunity to argue against it. And oftentimes you can convince the examiner that no, there is no likelihood of confusion. They'll approve your, your application, publish it, and it goes through to registration if nobody opposes. So as a brand owner, you want to make sure that you are monitoring what's going through the trademark register, what's going through the application process so that you can be on top of opposing in case you have to. You as a brand owner also want to keep an eye on what's happening in the Canadian marketplace. Set up a Google alert for your brand name. Make sure you're checking social media periodically to see how people if see if your brand name is being referred to and whether it's being referred to in a way that is not good for your brand. So if there's somebody else out there who's using the name or if they're using away your name in a descriptive sense and is going to ultimately destroy your brand and make it generic over time. So you have to set up a monitoring service, whether it's informal or you're paying somebody to do it for you to make sure that you are on top of where your brand is being used in the marketplace. And if you do see somebody who has adopted in your name or something very similar the next step in the process is you really have to make sure that you make them stop. That is something else that we do for our clients is we send cease and desist letters all the time. When somebody starts using a brand name that is too similar to one of our clients and it's going to ultimately affect their trademark rights, we set out what those rights are and we demand that they stop. They change their name or they use it under license, although that's never a great solution. Um, the, the main point of a cease and desist letter is to make somebody cease, stop, and change their name going forward. And so this is really a, a very high level overview of the Canada trademark process and how you would protect a brand in Canada and why you would want to have a trademark registration. It is such a valuable tool in terms of granting, uh, proving, um, and enforcing trademark rights. So if you're operating a business in Canada and you don't have a trademark registration for your main brand name, reach out to us at markably.ca or through our law firm at masonpc.com and we can help you get started on the trademark registration process.